Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I know that Hichol is one of your favorite styles so now I'm coming with this tutorial for classic colorful Hichol style earrings and I'm sure that even if you are a beginner with the step-by-step -step instructions you will be able to make them by yourself. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell also Please like, share and comment, in this way you motivate me to make more and more tutorials similar to this one that are absolutely free. A lot of work goes in this video so you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. And now, without further ado, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are 6 colors of 11 on seed beads black, turquoise, light green, light pink, dark pink and red. Here I'm using earring finding sliver bags, you could use others of your choice. This is Nymon Island thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. This is size 11 beading needle, you could use similar size of needle. Scissors and pliers, the pliers are not obligatory, I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay, I will slide those down. I'm going to stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop by going twice through it and I'm pulling really gently. Okay. And then I will make just one more knot to be sure it's all tight and secure. Okay. And I have this now. Then what I want to do is to go through some beads in this direction. I'm picking up a light pink, a dark pink and a light pink. And as I'm exiting from this bead, I'm skipping the one that's on my way. And I go through the following. And I'm pulling. Again, I take light pink, dark pink, light pink, skip one and go through the following. I repeat the same thing. And I will do this three more times. Okay, and I did my last step here and now I'm going through this pink and through the dark pink at the top. Now I'm taking dark pink, black and dark pink and I go in the next dark pink. Again the same sequence. And again. Okay, and now this re row is ready. Okay guys, and I want to start a next row. And for my next row, I want to go through these three dark pink, black and dark pink. And I want to take three red beads and I skip this middle one and I go through the following bead. Okay. Then I take a black, a turquoise and a black. I skip this one, the black one in the middle. And I go in the next pink bead. Ok. 
Okay, this is what I have. Then I need three red beads and I go in this pink bead black turquoise black skip the middle black one and go in the pink three red skip the middle pink and go in the next pink and continue guys alternating black turquoise black and three red beads until the end of this row Okay guys, now I have this and don't worry that the different parts move around, we'll fix this in the next row. So what we do now is that we go through these two red beads and in this way I'm exiting out of the middle red of these three that I added in my previous step. Then I take a black one and two turquoise beads and I go here in this turquoise. Then I need two turquoise and one black the other way around. Next to the turquoise I add turquoise and next to the red I add black. This is how you can remember it. Okay. Two turquoise, one black. Now I'm next to the red. So I take one black and two turquoise. And now I'm next to the turquoise. So I take two turquoise, one black. Then I take the other way around, one black and two turquoise. And after that, two turquoise, one black. Okay guys, and now finish this row absolutely the same way. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and repeat these three steps here and I'll meet you. And here I am at my last step guys, where I'm adding two turquoise, one black and I'm going through the red one like I did many times before. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video, see the first steps and repeat them until the end. They're absolutely the same. Okay, now I want to go through the black and through this turquoise. Okay. And now guys, I need five turquoise beads. And as I'm exiting from the first turquoise, I'm going in the last one just like that. Then I take one black, three light green beads and one black and I'm going in the first turquoise. Okay, and pull. Okay, then five again and as I'm exiting through the first turquoise I go in the last turquoise. Then the next step, black, three, light green and black one. And I go in the first turquoise. Okay, and five. 
go in the last turquoise. And go here in the first turquoise. Okay, guys, and I'm going to continue absolutely the same way, alternating five turquoise, black, three light green, black, and I will do this until the end and I'll meet you here. Okay, my friends, and here I am at my last step. I have black, three light green and a black, and I'm going here through the first turquoise. Don't make the mistake to go through this one. Okay. Go through the first one, not through the second, counting from here, from this black. And now I want to go through three more turquoise beads in this direction. In this way, I'm exiting out of the middle one of those five that I added in my previous step. How I know it's the middle one? I have two beads before that and two beads after that, so this is the middle one. And I take here, guys, five black beads. And I go here in the middle green. Exiting out of the middle turquoise, I go in the middle light green. Then I take five beads again. And I go here in the middle turquoise, the one that's sticking out the most. And I already told you how to find the middle if you are not sure which one it is. Okay, then again, five black and I go in the middle green. So in this row, guys, I will continue connecting the middle light green with the middle turquoise bead with five black beads. I will do this off camera until the end and I'll meet you here. Okay, guys, and I'm here at my last step where I need to add my last five beads from this row. And by the way, it looks pretty good like this. So if you want, you could finish it like this. But I want to add another row. I'm going here through the first two black beads. I take a dark pink, a red and a dark pink. Skip the middle one and go through the next two black beads. Then I need one light pink bead. Go through the first two black beads. And repeat dark pink bead, red bead and dark pink bead. Skip the middle and go through the next two beads. Light pink bead. Go in the next two black beads. Then dark pink, red and dark pink. Skip and go through the next two blacks. A light pink bead. Dark pink, red and dark pink. Skip the middle and go through the next two black beads. And one light pink bead. And go like this. Okay, and now I will continue this alternating dark pink, red, dark pink and one light pink. And I'll do this off camera until the end and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last pink bead from this row. Then I'm going through all of those beads. Add a black one. Another black. Then another one. 
and go in the light pink. Another one and go in the dark pink. And in this row, guys, I'm going to connect the dark pink beads and the light pink beads with one black bead. And it is so easy and so pleasant. And it is absolutely the same. That is why I'm going to let you do this by yourself until the end of this row. Okay, my friends, and here is my last black bead from this row. And I'm going just like this. Then in my next step, I'm going in the pink and in the black one. And then I take two turquoise earring finding and two turquoise. And as I'm exiting from this black, I skip the pink one. And I go in the next black. So when I pull, I have this. And I want to reinforce this joint, guys. So I'm going here in this direction, zigzagging through some beads. And I'm reinforcing this joint. And you could repeat the reinforcement if you want. Now, guys, what I want to do is to zigzag through some beads here in this direction and choose a place to make a knot. Okay? Let's say here, I make here a loop and I go twice through the loop I've made and I'm pulling and then I'm going through some beads more. You could repeat this knot several times, then go through some beads and cut your thread. And you could also cut your tail thread. And by the way, if you want your work to stay really flat, you could do several things. One of them is to put a transparent nail polish or crafting glue at the back of your earring. And the other thing is to dip it in sugary water like in crocketing and make it stay flat. Okay. So now my earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my Hichol style seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't. Also like, share and comment. And in this way you motivate me to make more and more tutorials like this one. A lot of work goes in this video, so you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And it comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. If you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page. I will be so happy to see them and share them with the community here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.